it's Brianna. Thanks for clicking into my what I eat in a day video. I'm so happy that you're here. I'm going to be sharing with you everything I eat in a day along with what my two kiddos are eating, two toddlers, and what my current fitness and workout routine looks like when I'm at home. And this video is also a collaboration with two of my really good friends here on YouTube. I love them to pieces. They are total super moms, boss moms, Micah and Tiffany. Now, Micah's What I Eat in a Day video today is going to be a pregnancy edition. She's pregnant with baby number five. So she's truly a super mom managing four kiddos, her business, homeschool. And she's also really good at making healthy recipes. So if you're looking for ideas, I bet you she's gonna have some really good ones. And then my girlfriend, Tiffany, her channel is called Beauty and the Beastins. She's got three kiddos. She's sharing what she eats, what her kiddos eat, and what she's doing to get her postpartum bod back into shape. And she's looking so good. She just started some personal training and she's really looking at her diet. So I think you're going to get really good ideas from all of us. And if you're new here, I'm a mom of two toddlers and I would love for you to introduce yourself in the comments. Let me know a little bit about you. And for everyone, <laughs> my subs, I would love to know, is there anything new you've been eating or a different diet that you're trying to follow or anything new that you're doing with your fitness this year in 2019? I want this to be like a great community resource in the comments for all of us to kind of hear what everybody's been doing that's working for them or what you've been liking and what you've been into lately. But don't forget to click the thumbs up if you do like what I eat in a day videos on my channel and let's get into this video. <laughs> Okay, say your prayer. God is good. So every morning, I usually hop on the bike with my coffee, do an Instagram post, and we'll reply to some comments while the kids play or watch a show or sometimes even if we're like in a time crunch for something else, I'll put their breakfast on that little table. But we clearly also need a serious declutter and clean up down here. How has the toy room gotten so messy? I'm still riding the bike and I usually do this for about 60 minutes. Now some days if there's a time crunch, uh, you know, 20 minutes is fine, 30 minutes is fine, 40 minutes is fine, but my ideal is 60 minutes just because for my heart and my mind and a lot of the anxiety I've been feeling lately, I want to get in 60 minutes of cardio if possible. Are you just relaxing? Mommy, look at <laughs> Going to the beach with your bear. Oh, you're putting it to sleep? No, she's putting that one to sleep out she's putting the other one to sleep. Presley, what are you doing? Riding. You're riding the bike? <laughs> oh my god.
This is the reality of working out. I have all my babies within a foot of me most days. E -C -E -C -E. Oh my gosh, Land. All the babies. E -E -E. This is my post workout snack. I'm having some chocolate milk. I like this DHA omega 3 milk. Um, and everybody makes fun of me for how I say that, including Adam. And then I love this GIF. It's the omega-3 peanut butter, so I'm gonna have a scoop of that and a banana, just because it's a lot of protein. And I, like everybody, when I was an athlete, would say bananas really help your muscles recover from a workout. And same thing, chocolate milk really helps you recover from a workout, and both have protein to get me through the day. And the kids are actually hungry too. It's a little early for them for lunch, so. I'm gonna try to give them a bunch of fruit and veggie snacks. So some broccoli, some sliced pepper, some raspberries, some apples, and then I'm gonna make this bunny pasta for their actual lunch. Who wants the orange plate? Me. Okay. Oh, me, I get it. Leslie, that means you get the bunny plate. I'll show them that too. That's both the same. Both plates have the same things on them. How these? Peppers. Prezi's favorite. She but loves her peppers, huh? I want huh? that too. I want that. The macaroni and cheese? No, the soup. Soup? Yeah. Would you rather have soup or macaroni and cheese? Soup. You want chicken noodle soup? No, I want that pasta. Okay, I'm going to make that. Yeah. I'm doing it right now. Please. It says freeze. You had better get back on track. It said freeze. After speaking rudely. <laughs> Did you just go on the potty again? I think you forgot to pull something up. <laughs> there you go. There you go. You're welcome. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't know if you guys noticed, I put it on my Instagram, but uh, we did just get a new table and some new chairs. I don't know if anybody follows on Instagram. Her feed is called My Texas House, but she had these style chairs and I was really hesitant. I honestly searched everywhere for like all wood chairs that I liked, but I just feel like I knew I love my restoration hardware desk. And so this is the table with like the same type of style finish. It's my favorite look. So I had been looking at this table for years and finally decided to go for it when our other chairs got really destroyed. But I love how these chairs look and I found a really good deal for them on Wayfair. I like especially love how they have the studs, but I, I'm so happy. You really love them? Yeah. Landon was so excited for the new table to get delivered too. Yay! Uh, yeah. But Adam's actually out of town still, so our old table is just right there in the corner. So I need him to help me move it out. But also the kids got new booster seats and I ended up getting these like booster seat covers, which obviously they catch a lot of spills too, and they're like canvas, so they're like a little bit easier to clean off. But I found these sort of stretchy chair covers. The thing I don't like is how it does like cover up the back a little bit, but oh well. I mean, Adam scotch guarded all of these for when like as adults we sit here, but at least this way it kind of helps prevent a lot of the spills from the kiddos. And I feel like the booster seats just help them reach their food easier because even though Landon used to like to sit in the other chairs, we felt like he was spilling stuff a lot more because he couldn't 
Oops, reach it as well. I'll get it for you, let me wash it. But hi, I showered and did my makeup, so I look a little bit more like a human now today. Um, I'm not super hungry yet, because honestly I had such a high protein snack after my workout. I might wait to have lunch until I actually put the kids down, but maybe I'll just have a yogurt or something like that right now to eat lunch with them, because if you've been watching any of my videos lately, you know my anxiety, like I've just been trying to make a lot of changes. Um, and I did a lot of changes to my diet about a year ago when I was breastfeeding Presley and my doctor said, you know, since you're nursing, let's just try other natural ways to reduce your anxiety and help the way your heart was feeling. Cause I had felt, it's so funny, like what I felt a year ago was nothing compared to what I feel on the daily now with my heart. So I'm making the switch to decaf coffee. I wanna see if that helps a lot. And I'm just gonna continue trying to follow the Mediterranean diet, eating as many like whole grains, fruits, veggies, like good dairy products. Um, you can have red wine and dark chocolate. Um, Cosmic brownies are dark chocolate, right? They're not, I wish. Um, <laughs> I wish they were. But yeah, I figured in case you are having any sort of anxiety symptoms as well, and I feel like you can even hear, like I sound out of breath. Like I feel like the only other time in my life I was out of breath like this was during pregnancy, and that's because obviously like a baby was pushing on my lungs, but I feel like the heart feeling, I've been feeling it's like a crushing, and like then I'm unable to take deep breaths. So my doctor's appointment, I was supposed to go Tuesday, it got canceled, so my doctor got sick, so I'm waiting for him to feel better for them then to start scheduling in appointments again, so I don't even know when I'm actually gonna get in, but at least the woman on the phone making the appointment was like, I'm going to put in the order for blood work, I guess she could do that, um, so that it's noted on your appointment, so that like when your appointment's made, you can go right in for blood work. So I was like, thank you. So I just wanna make sure everything is okay. Um, but yeah, I will continue to keep you guys posted and probably, it seems like you guys have really been liking the meal planning and grocery store hauls. So I'll try to do one for the Mediterranean diet, but um, that are budget friendly too, because I love doing ones that are budget friendly. Huh? You want that table? Yeah. No, we got our nice new one. Oh. <laughs> We've got some raspberries and this is lemon meringue oikos. I really like the lemon meringue flavor. Um, and I just put some granola on the top of it. So this can be my I guess second snack of the day to have while the kiddos have their lunch. So here's lunch. I just put the kids down to nap and I'm doing a Super Bowl recipe blog post so you'll get to see these on my blog. But Molly, you've seen her before. She's my <laughs> photographer, came over. So we're gonna have, these as our lunch. So I'm just catching up on Anna's when I ate Wednesday and I've gotta clean up the kitchen because I put a bunch of stuff out because um, Molly helped me with the thumbnail for this video. So if you like the thumbnail, thank you, Molly. And I've gotta clean up all of these dips. Um, I pretty much ate the whole thing myself. And this is what three is like because someone has not napped and he's letting the world know he is not tired anymore. Okay, you can come down and help me clean up then, okay? Thanks, come on down. Got a lot to clean up here. I'm such a fun mom. <laughs> come on down, time to clean up. I'm gonna drink this green juice though while I 
clean. Okay, I'm trying to get my greens in. Um, I was on the phone with my grandma because we were trying to coordinate the kids because she's going to watch them for me tomorrow so that I can get some stuff done since school is canceled. And that way hopefully I can get ahead on some stuff because we've got three vacations coming up in the next two months and there's just a lot between stuff I need to take care of for my business and for my channel and for my dad. There's just a ton of things. So we were talking, she's like, what do you think you're going to make for dinner? Because uh, I was telling her I'm filming a what I eat in the day video. And I was like, oh, I think I'm going to make chili. And she's like, Grandpa and I love your chili. If you have any extra, send it over tomorrow. And I was like, oh, there will for sure be extra because since Adam's not home and half the time the kids don't eat their chili, which sometimes I sit here, I'm like, why am I making this? But I personally love chili. And I've been listening to this Instagram. Um, her name's Ralphie. I'll leave it here. Um, but she does a lot of talking about just different parenting struggles and obviously a big struggle and I've shared this with you guys is getting our kids to eat like Prezi went through a really weird phase where like she stopped eating a lot of things she's getting better now though but I listened to her Instagram like she has them on her highlights reel and this helped me totally change my mindset because every night I would be getting so ticked off and frustrated about the food we were wasting why was I putting time, like time I was wasting into cooking different meals? And she's like, stop thinking about the short game. Like you have to think in the long term. You want your child to know that they have to eat a variety of foods in their diet and that there are so many healthy options and choices. So stop getting upset that you give them four to five things on their plate every single day if they're healthy things. And even if they only eat one to two of the things that are on their plate, in the long term so like the long game they know i should be picking out these different colored foods different varieties of foods making sure i have a fruit i have a vegetable i have a meat i have carbs and that for me like is so true like i would rather have my kids grow up to be intuitively healthy eaters than you know me get frustrated and only serve the macaroni and cheese because that's pretty much like any kid will eat their macaroni and cheese like i'd still rather serve them like i did for lunch their macaroni and cheese with some different fruits and vegetables so that they're growing up with the mentality of eat a variety of foods not just eat the one thing that you like so i thought i would share that because when i heard her say this last night i was like thank you ralphie i needed to hear that so bad So silly i just like freaked out for a second because i realized i'd taken off my jewelry for some of the pictures she was taking and i was like oh my god where'd your hearing go um but i realized i took them off uh i'm doing my chili a little bit differently tonight normally my go-to i make a crock pot chili it's super fast and simple with like canned chili beans canned tomatoes but i just have a lot of fresh produce i'm really trying to just incorporate as many fresh veggies into my diet as possible so I'm gonna do a slight variation. So I chopped up some of the carrots that I have on hand just as a way to sneak in more veggies. I had half a tomato from another recipe, so I chopped that up. I'm still gonna use a can of tomatoes though. And then I made this corn bean salsa. So it's a can of black beans, a can of corn, fresh cilantro that's been chopped up, and there's about half of a red onion that's chopped in there with some lime juice and salt and pepper. So. I'm gonna use all of these ingredients then with the turkey that's browning up in there and this organic chili seasoning mix. So it should be a really nice like hearty veggie chili with a hint of lime um, because of the lime juice and the cilantro. So. I feel like I could call this rainbow chili. Maybe I'll call this version that because it's basically every color of the rainbow, right? So should be super healthy for the kids and I'll probably let this just simmer on low for 
anywhere from 30 minutes to a half hour would be good since the turkey is totally browned up. I forgot to say, because I saw it when I was rinsing out the container, there was fresh chopped garlic in that salsa as well. I love garlic. I put fresh garlic in pretty much all of my recipes. Mommy, look at Hmm. My book says Hot Wheels. It says Hot Wheels? Look at it. Gotta focus. Here, hold on. See? You gotta hold it and you touch where the, no, no, hold it back. Hold it back so they can see. I'll teach you the lesson. So see, you hold it back and then when you touch the screen, it helps focus on it. See? Don't move it too close or they can't see. See? <laughs> we'll do a camera lesson another day. I'm worried she's a little sick. Does she look like a little pink? She doesn't have a temperature, but I feel like her cheeks and she's like, got a little bit of a runny nose. So maybe you got a little bit of a cold, huh? You took a very long nap. Need your beauty sleep? You're already beautiful enough. Okay, so the rainbow chili, I decided that name's gonna stick. No rainbow chili! Has been simmering. And yeah, that's what's for dinner, rainbow chili. No, no. Huh? I'm not eating rainbow chili. <laughs> yes, you are. No, you're not. Uh, Mr. Three Year Old, that's what's for dinner. Look, I just ordered the kids kind of matching. Landon's are like orange and gray, and hers are pink and gray for when we go to Disney. Because it will be so much easier to walk around, huh? Uh, how do you ask? Okay, hold on. I feel like Presley is very particular about shoes. Do you like those? They are. Huh? You like your new shoes? Yeah. Good. You're just fascinated by the buckle on your new chair. Landon and Presley got jealous of my green juice, so I gave them some too. <laughs> Is your belly getting full? My look at my belly got full too. <laughs> it did. All right, here is my I bowl of chili for dinner. <laughs> the kids are halfway done with theirs by now. I don't know if you can see my grandma and grandpa's rainbow chili is packed up to go for them tomorrow, but I hope you enjoyed this what I eat in a day video and that it gave you some insight as to what my workouts currently look like at the moment at home between the stationary bike and just some really easy ab and free weight. Uh, little exercises that I've been doing. If you like these videos, let me know in the comments or let me know any other video requests that you have. Click the thumbs up if you liked it too, by the way. And do not forget, go check out my girls, Tiffany and Micah. I will have both of their videos linked down below so you can see what Micah's eating, pregnant with baby number five, and what Tiffany is eating. She is getting her body back. And I think Ella's only like four months old. She's nursing, she looks amazing. So we hope that you enjoy these videos and these collabs and we've got a lot more coming up because we've got some travels coming up here too. So I just, I can't wait to see them again. But I will see you in my next video. In the meantime, there's gonna be some other videos right up over here or somewhere on the screen. <laughs> Click on them, check them out. And I will see you in my next one. And I don't know how I could forget. Um, I'm having a glass of red wine and my cosmic brownie. This is pretty much my nighttime ritual.